السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ مائی سیلف سیرت مجید اینڈ مائی ٹوڈیز ٹاپک از نیشنلزم ان انڈیا سو فار وی ہیو کم اکراس دا نیشنلزم ان یورپ بٹ دا نیشنلزم ان انڈیا از ڈیپلی ایسوسیٹیڈ ود دا اینٹی کالونیل موومنٹ سو دا فرسٹ ٹاپک آف دا نیشنلزم ان انڈیا از دا فرسٹ ورلڈ وار خلافت اینڈ نان کاپریشن دا فرسٹ ورلڈ وار دا فرسٹ ورلڈ وار اٹ پلیڈ اے ویری امپارٹنٹ رول ان شیپنگ انڈیا فریڈم اسٹرگل اینڈ ڈیولپنگ نیو موڈس آف اسٹرگل ان دا فالوئنگ ویز First of all, after the First World War, the increase in the defense expenditure led to the increase in taxes, custom duties, prices and introduction of war loans. Second, during the war, the prices increased dramatically, means it doubled from 1913 to 1918. And after that, poverty, forced requirements, they all led, they all made people hostile to the British rule. And after that, food shortage, failure of crops, famines, they all led to the resentment among the people of India against the foreign rule. Now talking about the idea of Satyagraha, it emphasized the power of truth and the need to search for truth. It suggested that if the cause was true, if the struggle was against injustice, then physical force not necessary to fight the oppressor. It said that as Satyagraha could win the battle through non-violence. And as it was the idea of Mahatma Gandhi, he believed that Satyagraha could unite all Indians. Now talking about the application of the Gandhi Satyagraha, he organized three moments. Two of them were organized in 1917, one in Champaran in Bihar and second in Kheda district of Gujarat and third one were organized in 1918 and it was a uh, Stagagraha moment that was organized by the cotton mill workers of Ahmedabad. Now the Gandhi wanted to launch a moment against the Rowlatt Act of 1919. So what was the Rowlatt Act? It was passed by the British government in 1919 under the chairmanship of Sir Sidney Rowlatt. This act gave the enormous power to the British government for repressing political activities and allowed detention of political prisoners for two years without any trial. So now what was the opposition of the Gandhi on it? He launched a moment on 6th of April 1919, namely civil disobedience. moment for opposing the Rowlett Act with a nationwide hartal. In view of this call, shops were closed down, rallies were organized, trade workshops and workers went on a strike. Local leaders like Saifuddin Kishlu, Dr. Satya Pal, they were arrested from Amritsar and Mahatma Gandhi was barred from entering Delhi. On 10th of April, the police in Amritsar fired upon a, pro- a peaceful procession and provoking widespread attacks on banks, post offices, railway stations and in view of this martial law was imposed and General Dyer took the command. On 13th of April 1919, the infamous Jallianwala Bagh incident took place. What happened actually, a number of people had assembled at Jallianwala Bagh in Amritsar for attending the annual Besaki Fair, and some of them have also attended it to protest again at the government's new repressive measures. General Rad, as we know, have already took the command of the martial law. He surrounded the park, he opened fire on the crowd and killing hundreds of people. Now, what was the aftermath of Jallianwala Bagh massacre? Crowds took to the streets in many North Indian states strikes clashed with the people police and attacks on government buildings were extensively witnessed the british used brutal repression seeking to humiliate and terrorize people people were flogged and villages were bombed this violence forced gandhi to stop this non-violence moment against the rawlat act and this was all about my presentation thank you so much